Hey, what's up? It's me, Jerry. Not very bare right now because I don't have a first suit, and which is exactly what we're gonna fix. Um, I really want a first suit for a very long time, and I cannot get one. Not that because I don't have enough money. It's and I, I actually have been saving for quite a long time. I set aside about three thousand to get a really nice like, full body digigreat one. But then the problem is that. Almost every first suit maker that uh, in the style that I really wanted is uh, not open for commission, which is a real shame. But you know what? I figured that instead of getting another maker to do my first suit, I will just uh, try to make it myself, and it's gonna be a very fun learning experience. Now that I have never actually uh, made a first suit ever in my life, I have zero experience, so. My first one is probably gonna be Stuff of Nightmare. It's gonna be a real fun challenge to do. I bought, bought, bought all the supplies, except for a couple things which I will just be getting tomorrow. So, you know what, fingers crossed, hope best of luck for myself, and see how this goes. Today. That's neat. Instructions. Who needs instructions? Yeet! Yeah, I don't need instructions. I'm I'm an adult. So, so, so I have not been recording for about a good hour or so because I got a bit too concentrated uh, in making this first suit. So what I basically did is just I I made a, a cover pattern and traced it onto a piece of foam a couple times and cut them out and I stacked them and I start carving into them and this is what I got so far which goes on here and right here I got my reference and with a boolean filter so I can know exactly what I want to do so right now the problem is that this is a bit too thick so I need to carve a bit more
So the foam base of this fursuit is completely finished right now. Uh, right after I finishing this foam base, I actually took a day off uh, just to step back and try to plan out everything and make, make sure I do not do anything stupid before I jump head in. As you can see right here, I already duct taped everything. Well, this is really nothing to see. Just put just tape all over this uh, head, and then I I drawn all the lines where you know the different color meets and the different fur directions. So what's left to do right now is basically just tr cut out everything and then trace them onto uh, fur, and then sew them together and see how that turns out. So the cheek and the chin part is finished. I am going to do the nose. Alright, so uh, it's starting to come together and I think I will trim off these, I'm gonna sew everything together. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's sew the face together. Okay, so uh, the seam is here. It's slightly visible as you can see, but I think it should be fine. Maybe I should draw off some seam allowance on the back. I think it will be better, but you know, I'm gonna just sew the other side and see how that goes. Eh, this is gonna take for freaking ever actually. <laughs> but hey, first for the end, yeah. Ugh, that's all of my fur. Hmm. Alright. It's looking pretty good. Focus on brush. Okay, brush, brush. A nice thing about uh, making first to head yourself is that you have full control over the progress, kind of. Well, not, not full control, but a lot more control than commissioning someone. Basically, you know, in commission, you just have to wait for, for the updates, You're just waiting uh, whenever it comes. But then first to head, oh, you know exactly how it's coming along because, well, you're making it yourself. Alright, so the neck is all finished sewing together. You can see from the inside. So uh let's 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 put this on and see how that looks. Yeah like that. It's pretty big actually. It looks like a furry neck. Yeah, it's it's, it's looking pretty good. I'll be doing hand hand stitching this time because I don't think I can do this machine to get under the first of head. But before that I'm gonna glue all the things down to the base because right now it's all pinned. All I have to do is just start gluing everything down. There's really nothing to it. Except, you know, a lot of glue. I got myself a bunch of glue sticks, so it should last me a good while. It's a good kitty. Pet pet. Are you gonna bring this to school? No. 
I don't go to school. Why? Because school is done. I'm too old. Wait, are you actually done school? Yeah, I'm done. Do you miss your friends? No, I don't have friends. Okay, so right now I just have to tape. I'm trying to hand sew this area, basically two sides, both of them together with a ladder stitch. I heard that's the type of stitching I should be using. Just sewing this bit. Boop. All right. Look at that, it's all sewn together while on the head. Alright, the ladder stitch is pretty nice. I think I should probably use a blanket stitch for this one. Simply because this place is probably will handle a lot more stress since there's no foam supporting it. And you know, what if somebody wants to pull down the head by the neck fluff? So the entire first head is basically finished at this point, but I want to go a step further and paint in all the markings and you know the stripes because it's not really a tiger without stripes, is it? I was very hesitant at first about painting in all the markings because I don't want to ruin the first head. I have done such a good job so far and really don't want to ruin the first suit. And like the rest of the first suit, it turns out to be pretty all right. Right now, we are doing the paws for the fursuit. For my paws, I used a pattern I downloaded from Cliff Suits. I will drop a link for the puffy paw pattern in my description. It's only $6 and I think it's super worth it. It looks really cute. Alright, I'm done shilling over the products. And yeah, here is the finished result. Let's look at it. It's super fluffy. Ah, fits like a glove. Should look, should look pretty great when, when I cut them out. Okay, so I traced the patterns, I cut, cut it out, I pinned them together, and now um, let's run it through the sewing machine, and that should be most of the tail done sewing together. Alright, that's the last bit of stuffing I will put in. There we go. That brings us to the end of the video. The video is quite short. And because I'm not gonna get into too much detail on how I actually made a suit, I find there will be much better information elsewhere with more experienced suitors. This is just mainly a video about, you know, someone like me who have no idea what I'm doing, trying this out for the first time. And honestly, the whole experience is a lot easier than I expected. A lot of times when you want to do something and it seems very impossible at first, now, this might be a total shocker to many people, but whatever impossible project you were doing, if you keep at it for long enough, eventually it will be finished. Whatever you did, you could succeed, or it could be a total failure, but either way you will learn something valuable in the end, and that's kind of what life is about. So yeah, here is some video of me going out taking this fursuit for a test drive at my local furry meetup, and this also brings us to the montage again from the beginning of the video.